the actual work in e-office starts with receipts whenever you receive any receipt or any application let's say any document first thing you have to do is to save it or to upload it in e-office for that purpose under receipt module you have browse and diarize this is the first thing we are going to learn now how to diarize how to browse and diarize any receipt or any document for that you have to click on this receipts module when you click on receipt module the first sub module you will see browse and diarize then click on browse and diarize when you click on browse and diarize this page will appear now whatever document you have received first you have to scan it you have to scan that document and store on your desktop or somewhere on your computer so i have already scanned this document this is the page i have received so i have received this page and i have scanned and saved in pdf format on my desktop now when i open e-office and click on browse and diarize under the receipts module this page will appear then here if you see on top of this left side there is an option called upload file first thing you have to do with the document is scan the document and save in a pdf format on your computer or laptop then after login to your e-office click on browse and diarize from here you click on upload file when you click on upload file from here you can select the document whatever you want to upload so i am selecting this from my desktop now it see now it is uploaded this is two pages document it is uploaded and he if you see here upload only pdf up to 20 mb if your pdf is more than 20 mb e office will not accept the document you have to decrease the size of the document you have to decrease it to less than 20 mb now uploading part is done now diarizing part means you have to enter all details related to the document since these all are not mandatory you can only fill up those boxes which are mandatory which are with asterisk mark so here delivery mode how i received this letter how i received this document so let's say i have received by post then i can select by post if i received by hand i can select by hand if i received through email then i can select email and language it is in english so already english is there and correspondence type it is a letter if you see you can see it is a letter so i am selecting letter received date let's say i have received today only and diary date diary date is it comes automatically because the system knows you are diarizing today and letter date this is the letter date 3rd february 2021 letter date is 3rd february 2021 if this letter is from vip you can choose vip and from whom you have received if it is not from vip no need to select anything vip name and these are not mandatory also. these are the diary details and contact details ministry from which ministry i have got minister of personal and public grievances minister of personal and public grievances this is the one and department of personal and training if it is there we can select otherwise no need name from whom you have received this one here see kushbu goyal choudhary you can enter that name designation deputy secretary if you see here these asterisk marks are in red color those are mandatory and if you see here these are with yellow color that means you can either enter name or enter designation anyone will do and address address from where it has come delhi new delhi and, and these are not mandatory and there is no asterisk mark 
no need to select if you enter the details also no problem and main category this is related to filling up the, of the post means appointment appointment yes it is there if it is not there then you can select any most related word like you can say admin and subcategory subcategory also you can select but main category is mandatory you have to enter this field and subject subject this is the subject filling up of the control c and control v filling up of the director this is the subject and enclosures if you have enclosures with this document then you can enter but there are no enclosures then i am not giving any number then click on generate if you click on generate now receipt will be generated and that will be saved in created okay and there is one more option generate and send if you click on generate and send then receipt will be generated and you will get one option to send to others the same thing you can do by generating first and sending later also now we will just click on generate now receipt is generated see receipt will be generated now yes now receipt is generated this is the receipt number designation appointments delhi these are the details we have already entered and now it is saved in created okay if you want to see just click on receipt and created see here under created e receipt receipt number is this one subject is filling up the post of director beam stick subject category appointments and date and time this is the date and time so all the receipts whatever we have browsed and diarized will be saved here after generating the receipt it will be saved and created okay if you want to send this document to someone else then you can just click here select and you can click on send it will go to the concerned person and if you want to put this receipt in some other files then you can same way you can just tick the box and put in a file then it will go to the respective file whatever you select later then if you want to copy you can copy also you can dispatch this one and you can generate acknowledgement also so this is about browsing and diarizing the document any document we have received